We will now solve some of the same problems uh, we solved earlier with FORM, uh, but this time with SORM, the second order reliability method. So let's just spend a few seconds uh, uh, looking at the problem statement. This is problem B4. So there are two random variables, y and a. Uh, the load q is deterministic. Um, so the first few steps in SORM are the same as those in form. So uh, we write the limit state equation. And let us say we choose uh, the hassel lin transformation between uh, x and u. Uh, so this gives us a limit state equation. h is a limit state function. Uh, in the independent standard normal space u and this is what the uh, limit state looks like pictorially so we have u1 and u2 and the blue curve is the limit state uh, the origin is in the safe set and the failure region is towards the uh, lower left uh, now we did solve this problem with FORM and the optimal point was negative 1.97 for u1 and negative 1.03 for u2 and the beta the minimum distance was 2.225 so we had reached up to this point when we uh, looked at form uh, this red line was the approximate linear uh, function that we fitted at the minimum distance point and the probability of failure or the reliability corresponding to this uh, straight line when uh, dealing with FORM. So uh, now we can find, we can employ the additional steps in SORM. So we rotate the coordinate system along the direction of that um, red line from the origin to the minimum distance point the, uh, with um, alpha as the direction cosines and uh, that gives us uh, the direction of u2 tilde. So once we have u2 tilde defined in that tilde axis system, we can define the parabola. So uh, in two dimensions, this is what it looks like. Uh, u2 tilde is the minimum distance minus a quadratic term. So that would be our uh, fitted parabola, second order parabola at that line at that point and this is what it looks like so the green line is the fitted parabola the second order approximation and now uh, let us use uh, the formula that we already shared uh, we have uh, the approximate value of pf as the frm value corrected by a set of terms in, in product. So uh, the we just have one term there because it's a two-dimensional problem and our problem size there is up to n minus 1. So uh, the main curvature we already found that is point, uh, negative 0 0.08187. Uh, that uh, is there uh, on, on your screen and now we just apply the formula uh, systematically so uh, we have uh, this time a correction factor which is more than one uh, one divided by the square root of a number which is less than one so uh, that turns out to be 1.44 and 10 to the minus 2 and uh, once uh, we take the normal CDF inverse of that we can get the equivalent uh, beta value in SORM and that gives us about 2.186. Now this is interesting because uh, we had in FORM 2.225 which uh, we uh, knew actually was an overestimation of reliability. So now we uh, have reduced the reliability uh, to about 2.186, the, the index. Uh, and now if we compare with the value obtained from uh, Monte Carlo simulations uh, about 2.180 so uh, this value from 
SORM is uh, much closer, much closer to the uh, to the true value obtained from MCS. Now, uh, just one one point to note is that SORM in this case still uh, overestimates reliability very slightly. So uh, the, the, that green curvature does not really mean that we are including the entire probability content uh, in uh, in that green uh, region, the failure region demarcated by by the green line, uh, because there were already approximations involved in computing that PF uh, comma two. So, uh, but still, in this example, uh, we have a much improved and almost um, correct uh, value of the reliability index obtained through SORM.